1953, Earth experienced a war of the worlds. Common bacteria stopped the aliens, but it didn't kill them. Instead, the aliens lapsed into a state of deep hibernation. Now the aliens have been resurrected, more terrifying than before. In 1953, aliens started taking over the world. Today, they're taking over our bodies. Sure don't die very pretty, do they? Nothing more seems to be developing, General. I'm beginning to feel cautiously optimistic. Yes, sir, I couldn't agree with you more. I'll speak to him right away. Yes, yes, sir, I'll keep you informed. You mind some company? Not at all. Days like this makes you wonder what we're still doing here, don't they? On the contrary, Colonel. It inspires me to work all the harder. Then you must be feeling very frustrated right about now, Doctor. Six weeks without any new sightings, without any new radio intercepts. Is there a hidden agenda to this conversation, Colonel? Hardly. It just seems kind of obvious. Either the aliens are out there somewhere, still pose a threat, or they've been neutralized, which means our purpose here is no longer valid. The military's talent for reducing things to their extremes never fails to amaze me. Well, General Wilson feels the aliens have been neutralized. So do I. The general feels that we eliminated all of them when we blew up their ships. Well, that's a premature conclusion based on an insufficient number of facts. The general's very proud of the work that you've done, Doctor. He doesn't feel that you or any of the others should be kept from carrying on with the rest of your lives. Doesn't anybody understand? There won't be a rest of our lives if we give up too soon. The General is just concerned about the lack of activity, Doctor. He wants to know what he's paying for. Research. That's what he's paying for in case the aliens haven't been neutralized. Norton is still trying to decipher their language. Suzanne is trying to get a handle on the physiology. And you? I'm just trying to get in my morning run. So all fired important, you just gotta pull me away from Betty Jo on one of the few mornings she's in the mood. Can't tell you, Ted. Gotta show you. Well, this better be good, Zeke. This better be good. Good? Ain't nothing good about it. Fact is, it's about the worst damn mess I ever did see. Zeke, if you drug me out here, cause kid's been skinny dipping in your pond again. Yeah, I just wish.
Got another couple of dozen of them, just like this. Coyotes, maybe? Just how many coyotes you ever heard of can drain every single drop of blood out of all these here steers? That's about the long and short of it, Claire. Now, you be a good girl and make sure my report gets on the computer so it gets filed with the National Crime Network. Why, we might be onto one of them statewide devil's cults or something here. I'm out. That's it, Ted? That's all you're going to do? What else can I do, Zeke? Well, what in the hell am I supposed to do with 25 slaughter steers out here? As you, maybe I'd get a few friends together and have me a barbecue. a difficult time accepting that the instrument of our salvation could also become our damnation. The concept is foreign, but we cannot ignore the inevitable conclusion, comrades. The radiation which gave us a second life is slowly killing us. We seem to be faced with the most challenging dilemma. Our analysis indicates the high level of radiation needed to protect us from the indigenous bacteria of this planet causes our metabolisms to heat to dangerous levels. Our scientists seem to have a firm grasp of the obvious. Tell us something we don't already know. Isn't there anything you can do to disperse the heat? We are doing our best, Advocate. As you have seen, the treatments are slowing the degeneration process. But no. Reversed. Unfortunately not. This planet's natural resources contain different elements than those on our planet. The lower classes are all alike. Excuses for every shortcoming. But advocate, it takes time for a species to adapt to a new environment. We don't have time! In our weakened state, our invasion will fail. As it is, we are already too weak to separate from this decaying flesh. Perhaps if you sought the guidance of the Council. No! Our leaders must be protected from such negative news. They must hear only a victory. Since your medicines have proven inadequate, you will find a more effective method of dealing with this killing heat. Solutions, not excuses. As you wish, Advocate. As, As we order, order scientists. scientists. That was an easy one. <laughs> Without tissue samples, most of this is just educated guessing. But I think I understand how an alien blends with whoever happens to be unfortunate enough to get in its way. It's a combination of osmosis and cell face matching. Watch. Through osmosis, alien cells invade a human body. These cells then spread out, seeking human cells that it can bond to. This bonding allows all of the genetic information from the individual human cells to communicate to the alien cells. Killing the human cells in the process? Yes, but apparently not before it absorbs all of the intelligence of the human victim. We're talking Night of the Living Dead here, folks. Not only do these guys get to pick our brains, they also get to use our bodies as a perfect disguise. 
I don't call open sores and radiation sickness a perfect disguise. I mean, it's not exactly difficult to spot these things in a crowd. For now, maybe. But it's only a matter of time until they figure out a better way to protect themselves and conceal themselves. If any more of them are still around. Let's send what you've done to General Wilson. Let him see what he's getting for his money. If I had tissue samples, I know I could make more progress. Lifespan, reproduction, side effects of long-term exposure to radiation. Side effects? I thought the radiation was the thing that kept them going. That may be only short-term. I made you a little snack. Well, Mrs. Pennyworth, thank you very much. Perhaps Mr. Drake would like a sandwich as well. I'm sure he would. Dr. Forrester's notes indicate that the aliens are just as susceptible to radiation poisoning as we are. Why haven't you mentioned this before? I hadn't realized you're that interested in alien physiognomy, Colonel. Dr. Forrester's notes are terribly incomplete. It's hardly more than speculation. But maybe that's why we haven't heard any noise from the aliens. Maybe they've died for good this time. You're jumping to conclusions again, Colonel. Am I, Doctor? Or does this fall under the category of educated guessing? Beautiful young lady. I'll be 12 next month. Will you? Oh. How come Mom didn't tell me you were coming? Well, she didn't know. It's a surprise. Hello, Major. Good to see you again. And you, sir. I've been out of uniform a long time, General. Using my rank really isn't appropriate anymore. Since when do Majors tell Generals what's appropriate or not? You've earned the rank, Major. I'm proud to use it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Come on, let's go surprise Mom. All right, where is she now? In the kitchen. In the kitchen, eh? I see. All right. When uh, Colonel Einhorst told me you were planning to send some of your research to me, I thought I'd use that excuse to drop by and see how you folks were doing. Yes, well, very interesting indeed. Well thought out. Good. Good work. I don't see any mention about that... Uh, Amnesia theory you told me about a few weeks ago. Oh, essentially that's a theory that's made popular by people who believe in UFOs, General. Which should all weird things being considered include all of us in this room. Thank you, Norton. General Wilson. I'll get you the details as soon as I'm satisfied it's complete. I see. Uh, Harrison, couldn't you give Uncle Hank just uh, a few of the highlights? Yes, Doctor. Do you think you could manage to do that? The theory holds that those people who have had contact with extraterrestrials often are unable to remember this contact without the aid of progressive hypnosis. And why is that, Doctor? Well, there are two schools of thought on that. I'd say the answer is probably a little of both. One is that the aliens possess the means to make us block out the incident, and the other is that we block it out ourselves. It has to do with selective memory, the mind's ability to deeply submerge into these subconscious things, in this case, the existence of aliens, that it finds too disturbing to deal with on a conscious level. Sounds like a lot of head shrink double talk to me. I'm not surprised. I was a second lieutenant in 1953. I saw a hell of a lot of action during that war, and for the life of me, I can't seem to remember a detail. Exactly. <clears throat> you 
Is there anything else you wish to see, General? What? Uh, no, no. I think I've been pretty well brought up to date. Except for a briefing by you, Colonel. If you'd just follow me, please, sir. You are staying to dinner, aren't you, Uncle Hank? I wouldn't miss it. Am I the only one who's suspicious of the General's motives for surprising us with this little visit, huh? Come on, Norton. It's just the way the military operates. It's like a snap inspection. I think the real surprise is yet to come. How does an entire graveyard shift? Twelve men and women disappear without a trace. You got me, Lieutenant. Here's the manager's list of what's missing. Plastic tubing, some kind of plastic fabric they make here in a truck. I guess to haul the stuff away. No money, no drugs. No kindolo. What do we got here? She's the janitor, I think. I found her hiding in the utility closet out back. What's your name, ma'am? Kukomadia. Hey, Chin! Chin, get in here. What do you need, Lieutenant? Vacation. I'll settle for a translator. Uh, uh, my Chinese is a little rusty. Oh, yeah? Guess what? So is mine. Go on, lady. Talk to the man. She's saying something about monsters. No, no, no. About dragons. At least I think it's dragons. And the dragons disappeared and, and everybody got up and left like nothing ever happened. That's it. Dragons, huh? Why not ghosts or hobgoblins or something I could understand? Take her in and get a full statement. Yes, sir. The planet is getting weirder by the minute. <clears throat> I want your report filed ASAP and make sure it gets on a computer. Want me to include that stuff about the dragon? Why not? Why should we be the only ones having all the fun? <clears throat> Sign. We still, we still have so much to do. You have to stay strong. The advocacy will be severely weakened without the three of us. That's a wonderful table, don't you think? Yes. She and Mr. Kensington have made us all very comfortable. You'd never know it. But Mrs. Pennyworth was a very valuable asset in the American section of Berlin during the last war. Her husband did the same thing with the Brits. <laughs> Rumor has it they met one night when they were both trying to infiltrate the Russian sector. Oh, that woman has seen a lot of history. Hmm. Even helped write some of it, too. And this house has had its own share of history as well. A few nuclear physicists lived here in the early days of the Manhattan Project. And just before you, we kept a KGB defector here. I wonder who the next occupants will be. <laughs> Harrison! Does that sound suspiciously like an eviction notice to you? I wouldn't look at it that way, Mr. Drake. All missions eventually come to an end, and that's why I'm here. To thank you all, personally, for a job well done. I'm sorry, General. But the job isn't done. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I'm completely satisfied with everything you've accomplished. We've hardly accomplished a thing. Uncle Hank, I can't believe you're cutting us off. Suzanne, your own research suggests the aliens were susceptible to radiation poisoning. How do you know that? I haven't released that data yet. I don't think it takes a scientist to realize that any of those creatures that weren't blown up with their ships have died from radiation poisoning. General, if you shut us down now, you're going to be repeating the same mistake that was made 35 years ago. On the contrary. The aliens are finished. And now I suggest you all get on with the rest of your lives. How much of this is your doing, Colonel? The General asked me to make reports. I make reports. I'm just doing my job, Doctor. I wish to God you would let me do mine. Uncle Hank... Isn't there something you can do to delay closing us down? It's all been decided. I'm sorry, honey. So am I. I told you the sentimental approach would not work. At least it was worth a try. What are you going to do now? I don't know. I guess the New Pacific Institute makes the most sense. Still have room for a microbiologist on your staff? Still willing to spend time with a nutcase? Well, that depends. On what the nutcase wants me to do. Hmm. Well, if the general is right and the aliens are dead, then we just pick up where we left off. And if he's wrong? If he's wrong. None of this matters anyway. A few more boxes for you, Doctor. Thank you, Mrs. Pennyworth. I don't know what all the rush is about, though. General Wilson said you could use as much time as you needed to move out. Well, I guess I'm just one of those people who doesn't like to stay where he's not wanted. I'm going to miss having you and the others around. It's almost like having a real family. I know. Need a hand with anything in here? No, thanks. My daddy always used to tell me, never get so comfortable with a place or a woman that you can't leave in five minutes flat. That must have been a great comfort to your mother. Well, my folks were married 42 years, had six kids. <laughs> must have been doing something right. What's that? Oh, a little something I rigged up on the computer to let me know when it's on to something. To work, Gertrude. Well, 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 what have we here? One of the jobs I have this little baby performing is constantly monitoring the National Crime Network computer to see if there's any bizarre stuff we might be interested in. Excuse me, but isn't tapping into that computer just the tiniest bit against the law? I don't know. I never asked. <laughs> well, let's see if there's something worth going to jail for. Slaughtered cattle, a few missing factory workers, stolen plastic products. Why are you showing me this? 
Because I think those incidences are connected. First to the aliens, and then to each other. And I think you're looking for imaginary dragons under imaginary rocks. Where did you get this list? Norton has his own way of finding these things out. Didn't Mr. Drake get the message? Didn't any of you people get the message? This operation is terminated. You people are no longer in the alien-busting business. You could bring this list to General Wilson, Colonel, and you could ask him to give us more time. Oh, really? And what am I supposed to say to the General? That the aliens are trying to take over the world by cornering the market on plastic tubing? Give me a break, Doctor. He's got a point, you know, Harrison. What are the aliens up to? I haven't got the faintest idea. But we still lack an adequate coolant. Liquid nitrogen would be the ideal substance. Why are you not producing the substance? We have pride, Advocate. This planet atmosphere contains ample amounts of the nitrogen element. But converting the nitrogen into a useful form is beyond the scope of the materials we have on hand. If you are incapable of manufacturing what we need, then you will acquire it in another way. And quickly, before permanent harm comes to those who are still alive. We cannot allow submersion into this rancid pool to become our destiny as well. Sorry, Harrison. I've run this data through the computer a dozen different ways. Now, as far as I can see, nothing we are trying to lay on the aliens has any communications value. Of course, when you get right down to it, how can you tell with these guys? I haven't been able to conjure up any military applications either. So that brings us right back down to biological. Ooh, thank you. You come up with anything? Oh, well, unless it's for nutritional value. At the moment, we don't know a thing about the aliens' dietary needs. I haven't got a clue what they'd be using bovine blood for. Maybe it has some sort of religious significance. What if it does? Where does that take us? It takes us... Nowhere is where it takes us. What about the stolen plastic? Ah, uh, well, I did some checking. This is what I found. The fabric that was stolen had some pretty interesting properties. It's a special plastic blend woven to create microscopic vents, which allow the fabric to breathe. Used one way, the venting allows the escape of built-up gases, but used another way, it creates a near-perfect shield for things as small as most bacteria. Like a contamination suit? Yes, I guess it is. Interesting. Section 3. This is 3. Go ahead, Control. Security breach. Section 12. Perimeter fence. On our way. Stop! Hey! Go! Stop! It must have been the description of what was left of the body that triggered the computer. Forward, Gertrude. But why would the aliens want rocket fuel? They haven't any ships. At least none that we know of. It wouldn't matter anyway. The alien ships were not designed to be propelled by liquid nitrogen. No, they need it for something else. Something. Something. I don't know what. Think we should call the colonel in on this?
sorry I asked. After all this time, the suits are finally completed. Completed, yes. But completely useless without some form of coolant. Our attempt to steal the liquid nitrogen from the rocket facility was at best poorly conceived. Desperate times call for desperate measures. My own body temperature has risen to untold levels. So has mine. If we cannot survive, who will assume the mantle of the advocacy? I fear there are not three worthy candidates from among our ranks. Then pray that our current attempt at the refrigeration plant meets with success. To life immortal. to the challenge of maintaining their success. Our production of the liquid nitrogen is exceeding your quotas, advocate. Then we will increase the quotas, Commander. Now isn't the time to grow lazy or complacent. Have your engineers double their output. You've been away from battle far too long. It will be good to resume. Yes, yes. Getting too good for this game. One more. Okay. As soon as Bob finishes up. Morning, Bob. Good to see you again, Mr. Drake. Any problems to report? Well, Bob, the computer is the only thing that isn't a problem. That's what we like to hear, Mr. Drake. I'll just recharge the coolant and be on my way. If the computer never breaks, why do you always have to get it serviced? Well, to make sure that it doesn't break. You see, it's just like having a little baby, only instead of changing diapers, you have to change the liquid nitrogen coolant. Like with the car. Mom's always putting that coolant stuff into the radiator. Right, Mom? That's right, sweetheart. As in, if my little angel here starts wearing out her welcome, don't be shy about kicking her out. I enjoy the company. Yes, Debbie, you see, it is exactly like putting coolant into the car's radiator. Because, you see, the computer works so fast and generates so much heat that without putting the liquid nitrogen coolant in, it would overheat, and then you wouldn't be able to beat me at this stupid game. Norton! Rocket fuel! It's mostly made of liquid nitrogen, right? Right. Right. <laughs> liquid nitrogen isn't only a propellant kernel, it's a coolant. Why am I supposed to be interested in such an exciting fact? Because it could be the coolant the aliens need to counteract the effects of radiation on their metabolisms. Okay, for the sake of argument, I'll buy what you're saying. But the aliens, if it really was the aliens, they didn't get their hands on any of the liquid nitrogen, so what the hell's the problem? You're the soldier, Colonel. You tell me. Now, just because you can't get your supplies from one source doesn't mean you don't try raiding another source. But these creatures, they're supposed to be so smart. Why don't they just make their own? Because they probably don't have the means. That's why they're trying to steal what they need. Okay. Where do you propose they're going to strike next? I thought he'd never ask. Thought you'd never ask. Now, based on what the aliens have been doing so far... What you assume the aliens have been doing? Yes, assume. We know that they've been operating within a fairly limited area. Norton did some checking. He found there was only one reasonable source of liquid nitrogen in the same general area. All right. You've worn me down. I'll go with you. But you've got to promise me one thing. If you're wrong, you're going to get the hell out of my life and stay out. I won't even send you a Christmas card. Good. Where are we supposed to be going?
Let me. You're in no condition. I count 12. Maybe one in the shadows. I'm not sure I can take all of them if things get ugly, Doctor. Why would things get ugly, Colonel? I thought you said all the aliens were dead. Something I can help you with? Yes. Department of Health and Safety. I wasn't informed of any inspection. Well, that's the way our department works. Especially when we conduct PCB tests. PCBs? I don't know what you're talking about. There aren't any PCBs here. That's what they all say. Look, you can let us do our job, or we can come back with some sheriff's deputies and a subpoena. I don't think that's really necessary. Do what you have to do. What are PCBs? You don't want to know. Should we appropriate their bodies? No. It might attract unwanted attention before we've accomplished our goal. What are they doing? Testing for PCBs. Satisfied that this isn't a stronghold of alien activity, Doctor? We just got here. You just hate to admit when you've made a mistake, right? Ah, my ego is healthy enough to admit mistakes. Wait a minute. Are you telling me mine isn't? That's not for me to say, Colonel. This is not a healthy area, my friend. Where's the PCBs? A lot worse. I'm reading some very dangerous radiation levels here. Department of Health and Safety. Your city working for you. He's carrying enough radiation, he should have died days ago. Maybe he did. This has gone on long enough, Ralph. Three days you haven't been home. You don't call? You don't return my calls? I've been working. You really expect me to believe that? This is a factory, not a hospital. I mean, how important could this be? I've been working. What's her name, Ralph? You owe me that much. Who is she? Why is he treating me like this? He's been working. Good. Then he'll have plenty of money for a divorce lawyer. Did you hear me, Ralph? I don't know whether or not these guys are aliens, Doctor. But they are definitely weird. Weird is weird. Weird does not mean aliens. But what about the radiation levels? And the way the workers were acting? It was like... Like, like they, uh... they were there and not there at the same time. Thin. Too thin to have allowed myself to be dragged here. Colonel? We've come this far, General. I recommend we go... just a little bit further. What the hell do you mean by that? Meaning... this will tell us where they've taken all that liquid nitrogen. General, if you'll stay here with Suzanne. I can do this alone, Doctor. I never said you couldn't, Colonel. Shall we? getting too old for this. What are they doing? How oh, should I know? As do this stuff as you are. Getting a good look at that one guy's face, Colonel. Affirmative, Doctor. You were right all along. Okay, now let's 
just plant this transmitter and get the hell out of here. strategic withdrawal, Doctor. You don't belong here. You're telling me. We cannot let you interfere. Look, buddy, whatever you people... things are doing, you're not going to get away with it. We have a mission. Your guns cannot stop us. Want to bet? What are you doing, pal? Let's get the hell out of here. Maybe this wasn't a wild goose chase after all. Uncle Hank, are you sure about this? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize in the morning. Sounds like the general's getting into the action. Now you see what we're fighting, Uncle Hank. They sure don't die very pretty, do they? General, do you still feel the job is done? The failure of our comrades to maintain control of the refrigeration plant is something of a setback. Agreed. But it's hardly cause for serious concern. We have more than enough coolant to see our invasion through to its victorious conclusion. To life immortal. <laughs> 